this is going to be a long video. Holy moly, is that the cool gamer 60 back at it again with another video? Okay, let's just get into the video. Low NPC versus Chapter 4 Season 3. Let's see how good our good old PC is doing these days. Alright, let's start with low times because, oh my god, even though I recently upgraded this thing with an SSD, it's still pretty long. Comparing this to something like xCloud where it only takes like 5 seconds to get into a match, on this PC you might be waiting a little bit longer. Now for the settings, I played one game on 1280x720 and another game on 640x480 and the results are SHOCKING! Now one of the results was when changing the settings, it would take really long to actually apply the settings for some reason. Okay, now finally on to how the game actually ran. And uh, it, it, it ran alright. The actual frame rate was okay, averaging around 20 to 50 FPS. But when I tell you the game stutters a lot, I mean it. The thing I always say is, as long as your FPS is consistent, then you should have a good time playing this game. So if you play at a constant 30 FPS, it wouldn't be as nice as playing at 120 FPS, but it would still be pretty good. This PC does not play at a constant frame rate. One second you would be playing at 60 FPS, the next second you would be fighting for your life at 15 FPS. It's not all bad however, as it gets even worse. You know how almost 3 years ago, Epic made the best, best update, update for low-end low PC players. players? Well, that update is now being used by high-end PC players that don't even need it. Why is this relevant? Well, now the majority of people that use performance mode aren't even low-end PC players, and performance mode has gotten more and more demanding because of it. Now, what will be done about this? Probably nothing, as nowadays, Fortnite on PC in general is kind of falling apart, with high-end PCs even dropping frames.